Hello YouTube, this is Karma Controller. I'm not here today with Blood Spirit, but I'm going to show you guys a great ROM hack that has been released. It is called The Legend of Banjo Kazooie. I'm here with three different files. Let's go and get started here. This is a ROM hack of The Legend of Zelda, but in Banjo Kazooie. And this is the first time I am playing this. I'm really excited. I made a mistake, I should have done that. Okay, so this is based off a level in Ocarina of Time. This is called Kakariko Village. This looks really great, there's no lag, I'm really surprised by that. This is really cool, look, you got little hearts on your honeycomb. This is really exciting, I'm really... I got this um, message on my YouTube uh, subscriptions. And I'm just really happy to see that this is actually coming together. I saw a trailer of this years ago, and this is a beta version, this is the only thing available, this is a demo of just the one town, because as you saw before, um, when I left the town I just died and came back. So this is it, this is all we got so far, but for what it seems like, there's lots of other worlds in place. Let's check out the graveyard. The graveyard is where a lot of things happen in the opening of time. Let's see if it's available for us. Alright. Oh, it's available. Great. Okay, so we have a grunty door. So we got, oh, we got a nibbler. Let's kill him. Okay, I can't kill him. He's too high up. I can kill him now. We have a ghost. Can I go in here? No, I can't go in and see the Dompe. Dompe is the, the, uh, the grave digger. This is so cool, this is really, this is amazing. I can't kill a ghost because I don't have um, the wing power yet. Oh, I have the power, I, I just need the, I need, I need the golden, golden feathers here. Oh, this is a ripper. This is so cool, this is like a mad monster mashing section of the game. This is really cool, I'm really, this is awesome. This is really, really awesome. This is, I can sleep easy knowing this exists. I'm just, I'm so happy be able to play this right now. This is where you play Zelda's Lullaby to access um, a, a, min a mini dungeon where you fight new deads. Can I get up there? Oh, look at this. Can I get up here? Oh. Oh, one of these. What is this? 1880. Oh, is this the race with Dompe? Oh, no, this access the Shadow Temple. Oh, it's Grabba! There's a Jiggy in Gobi's Valley where you use the shoes to get the hands. And the camera's not really working with me right now. I missed it. I I'll try again. This is so cool. Like, the, the person who made this actually put Jiggies in it. It's not just like a, a test run. It's not like an experiment. Like, hey, let's get Banjo and Zelda. No, this is like a full-fledged game. That's right, I got your jiggy. Yeah, so this is where the Shadow Temple was. Okay, and it's really, really cool. Really, really cool stuff here. And, oh, this is, um, Brentilda. This is Brenty's evil, um, um, good, good sister. Nicer sister. I don't need to talk to her at all. Oh, okay, that's great. Cool, this is the Shadow Temple. You would use Din's fire right here to light up all the torches and access the dungeon. I don't think I can go inside, no. That's actually a door- Hey, is that a Jinjo? We got Jinjos in this too. That's, that's awesome. I lost my train of thought. Okay, I, I can't use the, the trot move, so I'm gonna have to get the shoes again. This is awesome. I'm really- this is just- this is fantastic. All right, let's do it. Let's get up there, come on. No. All right. Got that ginger. Okay, so in the original Zelda, besides notes, you have not notes. I'm sorry. So you plant a bean sprout when you're a kid, and when you're older, it actually becomes this plant. And it like makes you do stuff. Can I find this? 
Okay, I can climb. Oh, it's one of those. Hey, I got some golden feathers. This is awesome. I know, I keep saying that over and over again, I'm sorry. Um, I can ground pound. Oh, wow, I got a random... That's cool. So I guess I can do this. Because in the original, you could do this, and you access a dungeon. You, you race against Dompe, who's like this floating, grave-digging angel with a halo. And at the end of it, you get a shield or something. Whoa! Nice. An extra honeycomb, nice. Any more things I could... Is that it? I think that's it for this graveyard. Okay. Honestly, I'm not keeping track of how long this video is. Um... Oh! Oh! What is this? Oh, it's a... Can you, can you please? This is music from... Is that a dry bones head? That's a dry bones head. See, there's Easter eggs in this too. This is music that plays when you go into like a small room in, in the in the Zelda game. What is that? Is that a Koopa shell? The dry bones shell. Whoa! It's a legit dungeon, man. This is sick. What do I do? Do I just like? Are these like floating platforms that they jump on that are invisible? Is that your that, is that your puzzle? Can I make it? Can I make it? Oh, mm. I beat your puzzle. Oh, I got a jiggy. I'm guessing I'll fall to my death if I fell. I don't want to test it out, so let's just assume that's what happens. What is in here? Alright, we got some eggs, notes. But how do I get that Ikenboko? It was like in a cage. Hopefully this leads to it, otherwise I don't know where to go. I don't know how to get that. Wait. Fire. Never mind. I don't know. Can I drop down? Can I drop? No, it doesn't look like I can drop down, so I'm, I'm just going to leave here. Anyway, before finding this secret area, I was about to say that I was going to... Uh, can I walk on this? Ah, uh, there's nothing there anyway. It's a nice ladder. Anyways, I'm going to make another video of the outside of Hikariko Village, because I think I spent a lot of time talking about it and the graveyard and everything. So everything's done in the graveyard. I, the, the game just... Oh, never mind. I thought the game crashed. <laughs> anyway, um... Yeah, so that that's really cool. This is a really cool area, and I like the little touches. You see, like, little Gruntilda things, and the enemies make it great. Uh, it, it's great, because when you have a hack, and if you recreate the stage, but there's no enemies, it's just a complete waste, because it's very empty, and there's not much going on. Okay, so guys, our next video, we're going to finish off the rest of this. So until next time, I'll see you later.